Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now we've got this wild tale spinning faster than a palace guard's hat in a windstorm, claiming that Lady Louise Windsor is the new Duchess of Sussex. Hold on to your fascinators, because this story's got more holes in it than the royal cheese selection. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the corgi in the palace. The idea that King Charles would just up and replace Harry and Meghan as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is about as likely as me being invited to host the next royal wedding. Though, I must say, I'd do a smashing job. Just picture it. Do you, Prince Charming, take this commoner to be your lawfully wedded? Oh, sorry, wrong fairy tale. Now, don't get me wrong. Lady Louise seems like a lovely young woman. She's got that Windsor charm a passion for horse riding, and probably knows which fork to use for the fish course, a skill I'm still working on, by the way. But jumping from quiet royal cousin to Duchess of Sussex is a leap bigger than the one over the pond Harry and Meghan made to California. Let's break this down, shall we? The title of Duke and Duchess of Sussex isn't like a hand-me-down sweater that can be passed around willy-nilly. It's a peerage, folks. That means it's tied to Harry for life unless he decides to trade it in for a lifetime supply of in and out burgers. And let's be honest, who wouldn't be tempted? And let's talk about King Charles for a hot second. The man's barely had time to get his crown fitted, and we're supposed to believe he's out here playing royal musical chairs with titles. Come on. Charles has bigger fish to fry, like figuring out how to get his face on the money without looking like he's mid-sneeze. But here's the kicker that really tickles my funny bone. The idea that the 97-year-old Queen Elizabeth II was behind this decision. Folks, I hate to break it to you, but our beloved Queen passed away in 2022, unless she's orchestrating royal shakeups from the great beyond, which, let's be honest, would be a fantastic plot for the crown season 47. I think we can safely file this under royal hogwash. Now, I'm not saying Lady Louise isn't deserving of recognition. She's been quietly doing her thing, studying at university, showing up at royal events looking prim and proper, but going from that to suddenly being thrust into one of the most high-profile roles in the royal family, that's like asking someone who's just learned to doggy paddle to compete in the Olympic 100-meter freestyle. And let's not forget about Harry and Meghan in all this. The idea that they'd just sit back and watch their titles be handed out like party favors at a royal garden party. Please. I can just imagine Harry now, sipping his green juice in Montecito, scrolling through his phone. Oi, Meg, you'll never guess what they're saying back home. Apparently, we've been replaced. Should we care? Nah, pass the avocado toast. But here's the thing that really grinds my gears about this whole tall tale. It completely misses the point of what Harry and Meghan were trying to do. Love them or loathe them, they stepped back from royal duties to forge their own path, to break away from the constraints of royal life. The idea that the palace would just slot someone else into their roles like they're replacing a broken cog in the royal machine, that's missing the forest for the very posh, very well-manicured trees. And let's talk about the alleged public appeal of Lady Louise. No disrespect to the young lady, but most people couldn't pick her out of a lineup if she was wearing a Hello, I'm Lady Louise name tag. The Duchess of Sussex role isn't just about waving from balconies and cutting ribbons, though I'm sure Louise would excel at both. It's about having a global platform, about being thrust into the harsh spotlight of public scrutiny. Are we really to believe that the palace would throw this young woman to the wolves like that? Come on, even the royal corgis have better judgment. Now, I'm all for giving the younger royals more responsibility. Heaven knows Prince William could use a hand with all those tree-planting ceremonies. But there's a world of difference between, hey, Lady Louise, fancy opening a community center? And congratulations, you're now one of the most famous women in the world. Don't forget to smile. And let's not even get started on the logistics of this alleged title transfer. What did Harry and Meghan get an eviction notice for Sussex? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mountbatten Windsor, We'd regret to inform you that your lease on the Duchy of Sussex has expired. 
Please return your tires and scepters to the nearest Royal Depot. I mean, come on. But you know what really takes the Royal Biscuit in this whole fabricated Fandango. The idea that this move would somehow restore luster to the Sussex title. Folks, whether you're Team Sussex or Team Windsor, you've got to admit, Harry and Meghan brought more attention to that title than it's had since. Well, ever. They may have ruffled some feathers, but they certainly weren't lacking in the luster department. And let's spare a thought for poor Lady Louise in this fictional scenario. Imagine waking up one day to find out you're suddenly responsible for restoring one of the most talked about royal titles in recent history. Talk about pressure. It's like being told to repaint the Mona Lisa, but make it more smiley this time. But here's the real tea, folks. The monarchy isn't some game of musical chairs where you can swap out players when things get a bit dicey. It's an ancient institution, for better or worse, with rules and traditions that go back centuries. You can't just decide to replace members of the royal family like you're recasting a soap opera. And let's be real. If the palace were really looking to shake things up, would they really go for the safe, uncontroversial choice? Where's the drama in that? If they really wanted to make headlines, they'd make one of those palace guards with the fluffy hats the new Duke of Sussex. Now that would be a story. But jokes aside, this whole fabricated hullabaloo speaks to a larger issue. Our obsession with royal drama. We're so hungry for the next big royal scandal that we're willing to swallow any old codswallop that comes our way. And let me tell you, this story is more codswallop than a fish and chip shop on a Friday night. So what's the moral of this royal fairy tale? Well, for one, don't believe everything you read on the internet, unless it's written by yours truly, of course. Two, the royal family may be many things, but they're not a game of musical thrones. And three, if you're going to make up a royal story, at least make it believable. Maybe next time try Prince George abdicates throne to become professional Fortnite player or Camilla reveals secret past as international spy. Now those are stories I'd tune in for. In the end, folks, the truth is usually a lot less exciting than fiction. Harry and Meghan are still the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, even if they're more likely to be found on a Malibu beach than at a British garden party these days. Lady Louise is still doing her thing, probably wondering why she's suddenly trending on Twitter, and the rest of the royal family? They're carrying on as they always have, with a stiff upper lip and enough family drama to fuel a thousand seasons of reality TV. So, the next time you hear a royal rumor that sounds too wild to be true, remember your friendly neighborhood critic's words of wisdom, take it with a grain of salt, wash it down with a cup of Earl Grey, and wait for the palace's official statement. Or, you know, just ask me. I've got my finger on the pulse of royal gossip even if that pulse is sometimes as fictional as this whole Lady Louise kerfuffle. So stay tuned, my friends, because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.